Hey guys, I decided to come out here. I've had a lot of questions. I keep on getting messages. What are your settings? How do you get your screen so clear? So I'm gonna walk you through. I'm gonna factory reset mine and show you just exactly how to go back through and set all of your settings, every single one line by line and explain what it is that I do so that I have a clear screen in most every condition. This is the best settings option for all around fishing. It'll minimize what you have to adjust when you get on the water. And we're gonna show you some clips from Grenada, from Del Hollow, from right here at Weiss. Three different uh, water conditions, clear, deep, muddy, shallow, and then just murky. That way you can see that I don't have to adjust hardly anything. And I'm even gonna show you a bonus on how to get those fish to quit running from you when you come up to them on the lake. What I need from you, hit that like, subscribe, let's get to it, let's get some knowledge spit out here. Alright, the very first thing I do before I get up out of my seat, power, disable sonar, transmission disabled. What I just did is made my side scan and my sonar transducers stop clicking. When those fish are running at 50 and 60 feet, they can hear your transducer that you're not using clicking. It's sending vibrations, it freaks them out, they take off. So that is the very first thing that you do and that's one of those tips that people just don't tell you. Now let's get up to the front and go through these settings. Okay guys, here we go. I'm gonna shut my transmitter off. Restore sonar defaults. Do I actually wanna do that? No, I don't, but I'm gonna do it for you all. Now, all of these are in auto. So what I wanna do, oh, back that up just one on all of them and it'll shut your auto off. Now you can see I've got the grid lines. I've got some snowy stuff up here and along the bottom. So let's go in here. Sonar setup. You have appearances. Color scheme is on amber, that's the orange. Color gain is on 77%. That's the thing that is gonna make your bait pop and the fish pop out here on your screen. Color limit is zero. Most all the time it's on zero. Bottom fill is off, trails are off. Layout, I wanna shut the grids off. All you have to do is hit that one button and grids come on and now they're gone. Scroll history is hidden. Reverse angle is on default. Now it's on minimum. All right, let's go back to default. You can see the zero moving right there. I'm switching it to minimum. Now I'm only looking about two feet behind the boat and instead of being able to see out here, I'm able to see further out here with the same amount of pixels. Noise rejection is on high. Now, when you first put it on the high, it'll seem like it slows the screen down, let it go for about 20 minutes, it'll adjust itself, and then you're good to go. Ghost reject is on low. TVG is off. Installation, AHRS is on, orientation forward, focus is auto refresh. Okay guys, right there is a fish at 40 feet out, I'm looking 60 feet out and 20 foot deep. And you can see how clear that screen is. There, there's two good ones right there, just roaming in open water. And you can see the water, it, it's got a greenish brown tint from the algae in it. That's gonna get you for murky water. The only thing I do is my gain on my home screen is on 68% in murky water. Okay, now I'm gonna let you see a clip from me down here on Weiss Lake so you can see how clear the screen is and how that we were able to close the deal by having it like this. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. I might have to get the net for you. No. Come up and just smoked it. Mm -hmm. That there's female, ain't it? Yep. 
I bet she's in there trying to spawn with all them males. Because that thing is absolutely loaded down. Right there. All, all them little dots in there is all fish. And we're looking 45 foot out, 15 foot deep, even though we're only in eight foot of water. I don't like bringing this up any less than 15 feet. It starts getting all distorted and then you can't see what you're looking at. So when you go to Grenada and you need to get in muddy water, all you have to do is turn your gain up to about 76%. That's the only button you're gonna end up having to touch in murky water. Sometimes you have to turn your color gain down just a little bit, about 10 in murky if it's got a lot of pollen coming up in it. But all you have to do is touch right there. There's your gain adjust, sonar setup, appearance, there we go color gain in muddy water I'll be running about 68% so I'll just touch that I'll pull it down to 68% and I am all set for muddy water there are really only two adjustments that you need to make for muddy water and that's it your color gain and your regular gain you don't have to move them much those will be your settings right there take a look at this clip from Grenada with Shaw Grigsby Got him. Oh my God, what a fish. Mm. Yeah. He didn't go far. There he is, Eric. Eight foot. Got him. Here he comes. Here he comes. Quit dropping. Got him. Got him. He's near. Hey, my man. And look how clear that screen was. And you can see in that water, it was muddy. It had a ton, ton of pollen in it. It was just ridiculous. All right, you all ready to just have your mind blown from going to muddy water, to murky water, to crystal clear water, like what we had down there at Del Hollow? This is all you have to do. You go to your gain and you turn it down to about 65% with the settings that we did on here. All you have to do is turn that down to about 65%, and then your screen is gonna be just as clear as what mine is. It's that simplified. One adjustment will take care of almost every situation, but these are the settings that make it simple to be able to see your fish and your jig when you're on different bodies of water. Okay. Got him. I'll net it just... Uh, Oh, yeah. That's a good one. I see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right there. A little tatted up tail on him. Just a little swim bait, OTHfishing.com. Called a mag minnow. Yeah, I ain't kissing no fish. I just can't, I, I just can't bring myself to do it, man. I just can't do it. I started out on 71 before I went through there and factory reset it. I'm at 69 with a crystal clear screen. So these are your settings. So write them down, rewind the video, save it, whatever you have to do. Uh, let me know what you want to see next about the live scope or whatever it is fishing wise in the comments and I'll see about making a video on it. We appreciate y'all tuning in. Share this video with your friends. It's all about getting people out here and getting more uh, fish in the boat and having a good time. So till next time guys, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate y'all tuning in and we'll be back at you soon.